13 people work in this catering kitchen in Mortons in Ranala. Given the nature of their job, face masks come off from time to time. A number of measures are in place to ensure a safer workplace, including a carbon dioxide monitor, currently green to show there's adequate ventilation here make sure that the air quality was good and it was really interesting experiment because you know you're very confident in what you do yourself and you think you're doing all the right things and you bring in a monitor and then you could see it fluctuating a little bit so the good thing about a kitchen that's well ventilated is that you have a ventilation system that can be adjusted uh, so you can increase the ventilation when necessary a carbon dioxide monitor doesn't measure the virus in the air but it gives an indication of air quality measuring the level of exhaled air an expert group advising the government says ventilation is an important factor in reducing the risk of long-range airborne transmission of COVID-19, particularly in enclosed spaces. People need to think about back areas rather than just the larger rooms and buildings, so break rooms, toilets, lifts, uh, corridors, storerooms and cold rooms, all of these places where the air can be trapped and it can linger. So you don't even have to share a space with somebody in, in that kind of conditions. You could go into a lift where somebody has left an hour before, you could go into a cold room where somebody infected was breathing hours earlier. Um, people need to start thinking very carefully about those areas of risk. The Department of Education is spending €4 million Euro on carbon dioxide monitors for primary and secondary schools. The devices will be delivered for the start of the new school term in September. Diane Connor, RTE News.